Hello there. General Kenobi. So I recently did a video that turned out quite popular. It was about Windows Recall and how I think it's a bad idea. And basically the whole world uh, agrees with this, that statement, right? So there has been um, development uh, in the meantime. Microsoft says they won't take screenshots of everything you do after all, unless you opt in, right? So they are giving you the free hand to decide on your own, do, do you wish to opt in or not. Microsoft says it's making its new recall feature in Windows 11 that screenshots everything you do on your PC and opt in feature and addressing various uh, security concerns. Thankfully, Microsoft has listened to complaints, has listened to complaints, and it's making a number of changes before Copilot plus PCs launch on June. Uh, Microsoft originally planned to turn recall on by default, but company now says it will offer the ability to disable the controversial AI powered feature during the setup process. So basically you're not going to have it uh, shoved upon your throat, uh, but rather you are going to have to enable it on your own. So that's good. But how, how did we get here, right? Uh, Microsoft will also require Windows Hello to enable recall. You know what Hello is, like um, face uh, recognition, fingerprint readers, or using your PIN, right? Uh, in addition, proof of presence is also required to view your timeline and search and recall. Okay, some security uh, enhancements. Uh, the authentication will also apply to the data protection around the snapshot that Recall creates. We are adding additional layers of data protection, including just-in-time decryption protected by Windows Hello and enhanced sign-in security. So Recall snapshot will only be decrypted and accessible when the user authenticates. In addition, we encrypted the search index database. Recall uses AI model to screenshot mostly everything you see or do on your computer. Okay. Uh, we all know that already. Microsoft changes to the way the database is stored and access some after cybersecurity expert Kevin Beaumont. I'm going to link, link this um, uh, Kevin's article uh, down below in this video so you can read it. It's a bit lengthy but quite eye opening. Um, discover that Microsoft's AI powered feature currently stores data in a database in plain text. So let's, let, let's read this sentence once more. Microsoft's AI powered feature currently stores data in a database in plain text. That could have made it easy for malware authors to create tools that extract the database and its contents. Several tools have appeared in recent days promising to exfiltrate recall data. Uh, Total Recall extracts the recall database so we can easily view uh, what text is stored and screenshot that Microsoft feature has generated. So you can go on GitHub and check out Total Recall. So what does the tool do? Total Recall, recall copies the database and screenshots and parses the database for potentially interesting artifacts. You can define dates to limit the extraction as well as search for strings. Uh, that were extracted via Recall's uh, optical character recognition of interest. There is no rocket science behind this, it's very basic SQL parsing. So uh, there you go, you don't even need to be a hacker to break through this uh, security that, that Microsoft has prepared. Microsoft developed the Recall feature under its, its new Secure Future initiative that the company has put in place to overhaul its software security after major Azure cloud attacks. Uh, Microsoft has had a rough few years of cybersecurity incidents. They want to make security top priority and they're saying if you're faced with the trade-off between security and another priority, your answer is clear. Do the security. Said Nadella. 
as we always do, we will continue to listen to and learn from our customers, including consumers, developers, and enterprises to evolve our experiences in ways that are meaningful to them, says Divore. We will continue to build this new capability as and uh, experiences for our customers by prioritizing privacy, safety, and security first. So what have we learned uh, by this quick reading? I mean, it's a trillion dollar company right and all it takes is a couple of brilliant uh, home engineers to just dig through the dat database and discover that it's not really secure at all i mean i'm not saying i told you so but you know if you are going to uh, place your personal data under the protection of a certain company or a cor corporation uh, i would urge you to consider who you're trusting with your data and how important that data it is to you. I mean, if you're only using your laptop for um, a bit of surfing the internet and usually not even logging in uh, anywhere, fine, I guess, fine. Uh, but most people do use their computer for uh, per personal stuff, uh, for net banking, you know. It's a bit unfortunate that a company with so much money uh, wasn't able to predict this outcome. So it's not up to me to say anything uh, after reading this, right? Uh, I have already chosen to use Linux for myself. Open your mind. Usually it's not any distribution. Um, I'm currently running Debian. I mean, the, the reasons behind my choices are usually uh, well-tested software, right? So while I was younger, I used to be very addicted to bleeding edge software, right? I always wanted the cool new shiny stuff, uh, but life taught me that it's generally a bad idea. And if you want stuff to just work, you should stick to what's verified uh, and, um, and well-tested, right? So, it is what it is, right? I'm going to see you in the next video.